Hey, how's it going? Back with another Amazon video here. It's the big spring sale. It's time to stock up for all your spring activities. Had a bit of a hiatus from YouTube, but I have not had a bit of a hiatus from Amazon. So a couple things, great deals I've been secretly shopping for the last couple days and just want to point them out to you. First up is the Oculus or the MetaQuest 2 VR headset. Um, grandparents decided to spoil the grandkids this year and we got a couple of these in the house. Um, I've kind of usurped them. They're fantastic, especially if your eyesight's going. You can uh, kind of dial it in how you want it, and you can watch a big screen TV, and it feels like you're watching a big screen TV. comes with a bunch of free games, and uh, kids are always coming upstairs all sweaty and, and like they were watching cops, but no, they've been playing this Quest too. So it's a fantastic workout uh, for the little ones, and uh, they play this monkey tag or gorilla tag, whatever it's called. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I really like this Quest 2. It's pretty impressive to watch movies on as well. So $199, I think that's what we got it for on Cyber Monday. So this seems to be the going sale price. Next up, we have uh, some spring deals going on here. This Cuisinart uh, grill set, I have that set. It's a great grill set. Uh, I also have this um, this propane fire pit. Now, I've moved since moved to a solo pellet stove or a... Uh, you know, it can put logs in there as well. Um, and this one might go to a campsite where I can't find, uh, where you can't have open fires. It's, it's, uh, or can't bring firewood. So it's fantastic. It's lasted about five years. Next up is this, um, this heater, the stand heater. Uh, if you're working out in the garage in Minnesota, this puts heat right where you need it. It elevates it up off the ground, um, gets it right on you, right on your core, keeps you nice and toasty. Um, you can turn it off when you're not using it. So it, uh, you know, rather than heating a garage the whole winter long, uh, you can just put that heat where you want it. I use it a lot when I'm curing parts with paint and epoxy. Uh, so really like it. Uh, the, also this Aero Garden. My wife and I are fans of this Aero Garden. You have fresh fruits and veggies uh, in the summer. These are a little bit smaller, more compact. Great for a college dorm room. Um, really like the Aero Gardens. So um, you can buy a bunch of kits on Amazon or you can even get seed kits and, and uh, grow your own. Also, this uh, seed spreader here, or this uh, spreader here, it's used for grass seed, but I use it for salt in the winter. And if you dial that dial all the way to the to the left there, uh, it's the perfect amount of salt on the driveway or the sidewalk uh, to keep people from from slipping and suing you into the oblivion. So, really like that. So I also have this Greenworks 1800 PSI pressure washer. It's small, it's compact, it does run off of uh, electricity. Uh, it's not gas, so you plug it in. And I use it for washing my cars, washing off power equipment. I just had it out um, about a week or so ago when we had some nice weather just to wash off some, some of the kids' outdoor toys. It's really handy to have. I can set it up from putting it on the shelf in my garage to having it out and running in less than five minutes. That little foam cannon that it comes with is, is a waste. Uh, you're better off getting a better foam cannon than that one. But it really, really, really works well. And, you know, the first one I had lasts about five years, and this one's going on three years. So pretty happy with the Greenworks stuff. These Lavoit air purifiers, uh, I have several of them. So I had one in my bedroom. I had this one, the Wi-Fi version of it. You can set a schedule. So mine comes on at, I think, 8 p.m. every night and stays on until about uh, 8 in the morning, a few hours after I leave. And it just uh, really made a difference in my allergies. I liked it so much that I bought one for my home office, um, bought one for the kids' rooms, and now I bought the bigger one, the 300 size, uh, bought that for the downstairs. We have three cats and two dogs, so having these is fantastic. The filters last for months and months. Um, you know, you can, you can wash them out, uh, soap and water, vacuum them out, and uh, dry them and reuse them. Or you can buy replaceable filters. I think, <coughs> excuse me, a pair of them is only 20 bucks. so really like these Lavoie air purifiers. I have several of them in, in most of the rooms in the house. All right, we have this uh, Philips Hue light. Uh, I have two of them behind the TV. Uh, we have a lot of Philips Hue lights in the house, especially the color changing ones. Uh, for movie night, it's fantastic. We just watched uh, Batman with Michael Keaton and really set the mood with the purple and blue lights. Next up is the uh, Champion. You see the green glove. Uh, that one might be making an appearance in our house in a few days here. Um, so lots of good little sports stuff to get geared up, um, especially if your kids have outgrown a couple things. I have some of the playground balls. And the last thing I have is this uh, pickleball bag. Um, we got that. We have a pickleball court now, just uh, easy walking distance from our house. So this makes it easy for the kids or, or me to, to pack the pickleball stuff up and carry it to the pickleball court. We used to have a net in our driveway. We have a fairly big driveway. So now uh, that comes in pretty handy, carrying the pickleball stuff. 
Magpul has a sale. Just a few things. If you want a Magpul hat, they're still 20 bucks. That's a little much for a hat. But I really like the bipod. I think it's $63. Um, and I have that bipod. It's a fantastic price. Uh, durable. I've dropped the heck out of it, banged the heck out of it. It's great for hunting. Uh, just going to the range. So that Magpul is a pretty good deal there. Acaso cameras, I film pretty much everything. Occasionally I use my cell phone, but pretty much everything on an Acaso camera. The uh, Brave 7 LE is what I've been filming most of my videos lately on. Uh, fantastic video quality. It does have the front um, video display, so if you're filming yourself, I, I don't show my face in videos, but it works out great. Um, really love the camera. I haven't taken the Brave 7 LE underwater yet, but um, it is a waterproof camera that you don't need an enclosure for up to... Uh, uh, 10 meters or so. I also have the V50X, and that's my favorite of the Acaso cameras. It's a great balance in cost and video quality. So that V50X is uh, just an amazing deal. Um, I recommend it highly. Um, if you're going to get one camera, that would be the one that I would get. Um, most of my videos in the beginning were filmed on that camera, and I still film, uh, if I'm at my workbench, I'll film it on that. So the uh, River 2 um, Echo, I, I really love this uh, portable power system. Uh, I did a review on it. I'll post a link up above on this one um, where I took it to power my CPAP for a musky trip. I power my CPAP for several nights, uh, not even using the DC mode. I use the AC mode with the uh, humidification system turned off. Uh, it also acts as a great uh, uninter uninterruptible power supply, a battery backup. So you can put your CPAP right on top of it, put it on a nightstand if you're at a hotel or you're traveling, and, you know, worry-free power your CPAP uh, for several nights be, be, between charging. Really love this thing. The River 2 is a fantastic power source. It's the only one of the battery power sources that I have other than the ones that run off the Milwaukee batteries. And I just can't say enough about this thing. It's, uh, it's great for taking out on the boat or taking on camping trips if you're car camping. Really love it. So you may start seeing some aerial footage in some of my outdoor videos. We're going to do some fishing videos. Um, you know, we're, I got some time on my hands this summer, so we're going to do a little bit more fishing. And so this Holy Stone uh, uh, first person view, one for $84, we'll see how that works out. Uh, might take some aerial shots of the boat and some of the fishing grounds where we go, but uh, we'll see. Uh, if you're just getting into 3D printing, the Anycubic printer here for $159. What a great way to get started in 3D printing. I have the Creality Ender 3 and uh, Pro and Ender 3 Max. Um, but this is every bit as good and uh, just a cheap entry into 3D printing. So I uh, really recommend it, uh, especially if you want to get started. Um, and they're very serviceable FDM or filament style printers. They also have... Uh, the resin, that uh, $21 resin, that's what I use for my resin printers. I also put a little bit of secret sauce in there, some of the tenacity stuff to give it some toughness or even some flexibility. Um, so the, any cubic resin, I do use that resin. Uh, if you're also interested in getting into a resin printer, they're, they're a little messy, but they're, they're great. Um, I use them a lot for printing miniatures or printing really precise or detailed parts. Um, and they also have their curing station up here on sale as well. So it's a great way to get started with resin printing. Um, you just need some, some uh, nitrile gloves and, and get ready to go. They're not as bad as people make them out to be. I'll, maybe I'll do some uh, resin printing videos. I really like the resin printer. Uh, it's just hard to do in the winter when it's so cold in the garage. So this thing here, this uh, Best Choice Products 12 Volt Kids, I have this exact one. It's on sale for 159 bucks. If you want to make that little person uh, in your life make their day, uh, this thing is in use almost every day at my house in the summer. Um, we got it for my son for his birthday, and he uses it every day. What I really like about it is it comes with a remote, so if he's about to head into the street, um, you can bring him right back, or if you're too lazy to walk across the yard when he abandons it to go inside and eat lunch, hey, just drive it back into the garage. It's a giant remote control car. I, he loves it when I drive. It also has Bluetooth, so you can crank up the tunes. Uh, he loves uh, ACDC, so uh, <laughs> we can crank up the tunes as he's driving around. This thing does great on grass. It does great on hills. He's a small guy, but uh, really surprised at the power of this thing. Um, and I'm even working on, uh, I got the parts to uh, modify it to fit uh, Milwaukee M12 bat or M18 batteries. So just a great buy. Can't recommend it enough. Make your uh, kids' dreams come true for $159 this spring. So I also have a lot of these mountain home things. The, the costs have really skyrocketed on these uh, 
dehydrated backpacking meal since COVID started. Um, kind of even people that weren't preppers before, or at least a little prepper-ish now. But uh, yeah, chicken and dumplings, got a bunch of those. And I love those ice cream sandwiches. They're fantastic for taking on hikes. The the mint chocolate chip or the just the standard ice cream sandwich. We love throwing those in a backpack uh, for three bucks. Uh, they're they're you know, almost, we're just, I think it's three fifty one. They're great. Um, biscuits and gravy is probably my favorite. And uh, I can have that breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They're great. So uh, I bought a bunch of these. So we're going to try them out on some camping trips this summer. And uh, my boys can be picky eaters sometimes. So I'll let you know how that goes. But uh, yeah, for $7, these things are around $11, $12 now online, um, even on Amazon. So getting a meal for under 8 bucks is a bargain. They're two to three servings a piece, depending on which one you get. Um, really easy. Camelback, before uh, Stanley was cool again, uh, Camelback was the water bottle of choice. These shoot mags, um, I have several of those. All the kids have them for our backpacks, um, and they're great for when we go on those hikes. The eclipse is coming here in a, just a few weeks. Uh, these are plastic goggles. I saw those paper goggles, but uh, my kids will shred those up. And, hey, you can save them for the next eclipse when it comes out in another uh, 10 years or whatever it is. So these are made out of plastic. We'll see how they last, and uh, I'll do some reviews on them when we get them. So hopefully you, hopefully you get a chance to get out and see that. Uh, this is kind of a niche thing, but this uh, little mixer for 46 bucks. I'm going to try using that with some additional microphones. That way I can set up my computer and record, and uh, I can have a microphone set up at my workbench and a computer set up at the normal desk that I use and um, see if I can run two mics off of one input. I'm having trouble doing that on my computer. It might be easier with an audio mixer. I don't know what I did before thermocells came out. I guess what I did was I ruined a lot of sunglasses with uh, bug spray, but uh, these thermocells, since I've gotten thermocells, I don't think I use bug spray anymore. Um, this stuff, These things are amazing. They really do work. Uh, I keep them on the boat, and we do movie night out on the driveway. We project it up on the garage door with a little fire pit, and we put a couple of these out there, and we don't have an insect problem or a mosquito problem. These things really are legit. Uh, I even have the portable ones you attach to your belt. I really like them, and uh, you know, I, I suggest you get some, especially if you're used to doing outdoors. Sit, sit this on your patio. Uh, you know, the refills last about one night. You'll get a full night, maybe two nights out of them. But uh, it's definitely well worth it. Chemical Guy stuff is on sale if you're getting ready. I'm itching to get my cars cleaned up. Um, so these clay lubers here, that's the, the big thing that I would look at. Um, one of the first things I do when the weather turns nice is I give my com car a complete detail. Um, and I really clay lube it every year. And then I'll uh, ceramic coat it with the Chemical Guy ceramic coat. And then I'll uh, wax it. Maybe I'll do a video on that. But there's a couple different hardnesses of clay. I use the medium or the light one for my cars. They're fairly new. But um, the stuff smells like, I think it's cherry scented. Also, you have the uh, the interior detailer. That stuff is amazing. I'm trying, I have a whole host, a bevy of, uh, if you will, of uh, car cleaning products. And I'm trying to downsize a little bit. One of the things I found is this interior cleaner. You can use it for glass cleaner. It can clean your navigation screens. Uh, it'll do light upholstery cleaning, and it'll clean all your vinyl and your trim. Uh, it really is just an all-in-one product, and it's fantastic. It kind of has like a, a clean cotton slash baby powder, a dryer sheet scent. So it's, uh, it's not overpowering, and it's just a great product. Really love it. So that's what I recommend with the Chemical Guy stuff. There's uh, also the Citrus Wash. Uh, you can see that stuff, it's come up in price a little bit, but uh, that's my primary wash for, uh, for the cars. Um, I used to buy it just in uh, small containers, but uh, getting the gallons a lot, uh, a lot more cost effective. So anyway, the clay luber, the interior cleaner, and the, uh, the citrus wash and wax. Those are the products that I think are a good deal on this. All right, the fishing opener for us isn't until the second Saturday in May, but uh, boy, I'm itching to start getting getting some fishing. We may have to travel south just to get a couple lines wet here in the next few weeks. Uh, these Berkeley fishing sunglasses are great. I keep them in the boat. The kids all have a pair, and uh, we just keep them in the boat. That way, if they lose them, um, they always have them for fishing, and uh, not too worried about them. They're not very expensive, but they're fantastic polarized glasses. Uh, fishing line, this Vanish fluorocarbon. I use that for leaders when I'm fishing walleye or fishing trout. Uh, I don't really use a leader when I'm fishing musky or bass. Uh, I just find that it's not necessary. But uh, when I do use a leader, I prefer the Vanish. Uh, this uh, Abu Garcia Max uh, with the orange handles, that is my son, my middle son. That's his 
casting reel of choice. He has several uh, bait casting rods, and they all have that reel on it um, in a couple different speeds. But uh, yeah, for 40 bucks, you can't beat it. It's a it's a rock solid, made out of iron. Just a great reel. I um, mean, he learned how to how to cast on that. Actually, he learned how to cast on this combo down here. Uh, orange is his favorite color, so this was a great combo to get for him, and that's where he learned how to cast a bait caster. So uh, he's pretty proficient with it now. He's almost 13, and uh, yeah, I think it's a great product. So those are just a few of the bargains that I found. Uh, like I said, I bought a bunch of that stuff. Um, so I'll be testing a lot of it on, on this channel. So if you like that kind of thing, let me know. If you don't like that kind of thing, let me know. I won't waste your time, and I'll find something else to do. But, uh, yeah, I hope that helps. Um, I'll post some Amazon affiliate links down below. As always, if uh, if you click on the link, it helps the channel. And if you buy something, uh, Jeff Bezos checks a couple pennies at my head and uh, lets me keep it. It's, it's just a few percentage of, uh, of whatever the purchase is. But it helps me buy stuff for the channel and keeps my wife off my back so I'm not bankrupting us just for a failed YouTube video channel making uh you know, low quality internet videos. Anyway, I hope that helped. And as always, thanks for your support and uh, thanks for watching.